Hi there. My name is Pak, and I'm from Google Cloud AI. I'm here to tell you a little bit today about how telecommunication CSPs can use generative AI on Google Cloud to solve some of their biggest problems. We've been demoing how you can build smart virtual agents and also use Gemini on Google Cloud to analyze audio and video to drive insights that can help you as a CSP transform the way that you deliver your services to your customers. Let's have a look at some of those. Now, here at DTW24, we got to talk to a lot of startups, a lot of CSPs, and a lot of SI partners. Each of them had different problems ad addressing all parts of a CSP, whether it be from sales and marketing, to network and operations, to assurance, and also activation, delivering the actual service for their customers. Now, that's quite a wide range of operational processes that a CSP has to consider. But because Gemini has been trained on such a wide amount of training data, it's able to help CSPs across this broad range of processes. And so it can help you automate a lot of those operations and also drive to get you real insights and help you differentiate how you deliver customer service. I'm going to show you now some demos that I actually built on the booth in real time in front of these customers with their problems to show you the power of Gemini and how you can basically use it to boost and differentiate your CSP from the others. Let's have a look. Gemini 1.5 Pro and Flash are Google's latest generation of multimodal models that feature a large context window. The large context window allows you to process not only text, but audio and video content the audio and video content that you process, in addition to your text prompts, gives the model additional context, which makes it very rich and able to handle a wide variety of scenarios. Let's go through those right now, and let's just see how powerful it is. Have a look at this first example. I'm taking a video of a call center worker, talking to an end customer, and I'm asking Gemini to transcribe the video, the audio, give me an overview of the storyboard, so what's happening in the actual video, and then critique the actual performance of the call center worker. You can see here, there are some suggestions to basically the call center worker on how to improve the actual customer interaction. You could use this to improve your customer experience. How about if I was a consultant? Imagine I was a strategy consultant and a CSP had a strategy paper or some strategy content that they wanted me to critique. I could put in videos, PDFs, and then ask Gemini to critique it. In this case here, I have a video, a promotional piece, and I've got here the response from Gemini, critiquing that video. How about if I was working in marketing? In marketing, there might be large amounts of video content, and I just want to cut it down to something smaller that I can then use or consume for other purposes. I can get Gemini to analyze a large video, understand the key moments of it, to understand some highlights, and then cut out those highlights so that I can use it for my own purposes. In this example here, we're using a Google Cloud video. I'm understanding what's inside it, and then cutting it all down. What if I was a sales executive, and I got given an incredibly large video of an interview between two CEOs just talking. And I want to understand, how do I take that video and then create my perfect sales pitch, a press release, and work out how I could pitch that to my customers? In this case here, one, uh, one customer came around, gave me their YouTube content, and we analyzed it, and we crafted all of that within seconds using Gemini. One thing that was really, I guess, interesting for this particular sales executive was the criticism. Gemini is neutral. You can tell it to behave how you want. So you can get real honest criticism on your work. It's not biased, or you can be biased however you want. And this is truly helpful when sometimes you don't get the kind of criticism or help from people around you who might have their own biases or like be, for example, influenced by a position or organization and you just want honest feedback. Gemini can give you that. How about for RFPs? 
in requests for proposal, you're handling hundreds of pages of information from potential customers, as well as hundreds of pages of your own product documentation that you need to process and then answer. You can use Gemini to answer those questions for you and then verify them to make sure to accelerate your answer to RFPs, saving you heaps of time. Okay, moving on to CSPs. How about network topology? We're getting into a really technical domain here. I had a customer come up to me and say, I'd like to basically understand a network topology and then model some network faults to see what kind of impact on my customer service I might have if I had problems in my network. They told me, we have, we model our database, we model our networks on a graph database, so I'd like you to do that too. I use Gemini to create this sample network and graph database definition. Then I asked Gemini to analyze what would happen to that network if core router one goes down. And you can see here, Gemini understood the graph database, understood the context that it was in network operations, and then came back with what it thought would happen if core route again went down. Okay, but what if you were, say, a telecoms analyst? I also was lucky enough to talk to some telecoms analysts at my booth, and they asked me a question about their work, how they were benchmarking different RAN equipment. We basically took the RAN benchmarking standard, which in this case is Etsy SI203216-1. We got Gemini to generate some sample data according to that standard. And then we got Gemini to actually evaluate that and write up a report. So for this analyst, now that kind of work can be semi-automated so that they can actually focus on other things. Finally, let's get to TM Forum and the specifications. TM Forum have API specifications and they are quite large, really large. With the large context window of Gemini, we can load the entire specification into the prompt and then ask Gemini to generate code, generate API specifications, or maybe explain what those specs are. In this case here, I've got the entire TMF622 loaded into the prompt, and then I'm asking it to convert customer requests into API calls. You can see here, it's generating, it understands the actual part of the specification, it's generating potential API calls, and it's also producing Python code to make that API code. How about handling something more technical, like TR157 data? I had a CSP come up and say, I'd like to take signals from customer premises equipment and use that to try and improve customer service. I didn't know anything about TR157, but Gemini did. We generated some sample TR157 traffic, and then we got it to firstly anonymize that traffic and generate Python code to do that at scale. Then based on that answer, we got Gemini to then blend that TR157 traffic with a true customer conversation here to come up with the next best recommendation on what the customer problem was and what to do. And so this was a really powerful example where we weren't just taking network signals to try and improve a customer situation or customer service, we were taking network signals plus also customer interactions with assurance through a support call to really work out what, what the next best thing to do. Okay, wrapping up. At DTW24 in Copenhagen, we talked to CSPs, customers and partners on some of their largest challenges that would have taken the weeks or months to try and solve and compressed them down into prompts to Gemini that gave them immediate answers and a path to getting a solution.